Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today guys we have another crazy video as usual And today guys we actually had a ton of crazy and pretty interesting things to say the least come to our timelines Yesterday because as we all know there was another DreamHack event this time on the European region After all of that NA drama went down they actually kicked it off with the EU region And during that tournament we saw some really good games But then we also saw some game breaking bugs coming out from a team that was fighting Mr. Savage it was an absolutely crazy moment. A clip of the bug was actually then posted to Twitter, and this tweet absolutely went viral. I mean, Savage tweeted about it, and a bunch of other pros just jumped in on the meme, and even Ronaldo was getting clowned for it. I don't really know how that happened, but it did, and I'm gonna be sure to show you guys all the clips, screenshots, tweets, and everything regarding this situation, and also breaking down the bug for you guys just a little bit later in the video, so make sure to stay tuned for that, guys, because you guys do not want to miss that part of the video. And also, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at a new method that that was actually posted to the Fortnite competitive reddit of a way to fully box someone through their own walls it is absolutely crazy guys and I know a lot of you guys already know how to do this but there was a new method that this guy originally posted and it seems to be way more efficient than the other ways that pro players have been doing it and this way just seems to be a little bit better but maybe you guys can be the judge for that yourself I'll be sure to show you just a little bit later in the video so make sure to stay all the way till the end of the video because you do not want to miss that and also guys if you guys do want to go and support me by entering my supporter creator code into the Fortnite item shop. It is Kanji Mark, all lowercase, no spaces, and would be greatly appreciated. But anyways, guys, now that that is all out of the way, let's go ahead and head into the first topic of today's video, which is actually going to be about the bug that Mr. Savage M and Benji Fishy experienced during a fight during the DreamHack tournament. It was absolutely crazy, guys, and it seems like the enemies really just sort of shrunk in front of them, and they were really small, like gnome size. It is absolutely crazy. Now, I'm gonna go and show you Mr. Savage's live reaction to him actually experiencing this. Roll it. Look at my look at my stream. Okay. Oh, Stay on the I'm on it. I got it. I'm dead, I'm dead, bro. Look at this. He's literally I'm gonna I'm gonna slow mo this. He's literally so small, he's so small! Or what? Look Wait, how what small the they are! That? Look at that! Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck is that? Wait, it would have so been headshot. Small. I was getting body shots when I was aiming at his head because he's f***ing tiny, but his hitbox didn't change. <sighs> bro, what the f*** is that? I don't know how this kid went through the wall, bro. Oh. Would have been so tiny. We were, oh, those kids were stacked as well. Like, what is that? How does he kill hey, me look, there, look how bro. fast he runs. He just... Teleport. I can't even see him. I thought he went under the under the fucking floor because he's so tiny. I can see him. Oh, this game's such look, a joke. Look man. at that. I... <laughs> look how small he is. He's, if he's normal, he's dead here. And as you guys can tell by that clip, Savage was completely thrown off guard when two players like the size of Garden Gnomes just started rushing him and moving so fast. And I don't know what actually happened or what actually caused this glitch to even occur in the first place. As I said before, I've never seen a glitch like this happen to a pro player in the past or even a casual player or even on a Reddit in general. So I truly think this is one of the first times that it has ever happened. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down below in the comment section if you've experienced a bug like this in your time playing Fortnite and when it actually happened. Happen. But anyways guys that is going to be the end of this topic for this part of the video I hope you guys did enjoy this part and also let me know down below in the comment section What you guys think about the bug that Benji and Savage unfortunately had to experience during their DreamHack tournament I just find it so stupid how that's even possible to happen in the game But then again the game is a game so glitches are bound to happen but Anyways guys now that that is all out of the way Let's go on ahead and see the next topic of today's video Which is actually going to be about a new strategy that was posted to the competitive reddit about full boxing a player through walls and I know what a lot of you guys are thinking oh yes this is an old strap we've already seen it but apparently guys this is a new and more efficient way to fully box your opponents and apparently it's just so much faster than the original way but anyways it was posted to the reddit with the title saying next meta way to full box through walls fast and it was posted by a user by the name of Nathan underscore DBS on reddit so make sure to go show him some love and support and go up with his post because he truly does deserve the credit and I'm gonna go and show you his video really quickly because I know a lot of you guys are interested in strap strategies like this and exploits of these sorts but anyways guys here's a new strategy roll it 
What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you the absolute best way to footmark somebody through a wall. And I know I know this has already been done in the past, but there's actually a way better method that doesn't require any crouching. So what I mean with crouching is like nowhere really uh, like full box thing he does, I mean uh, ramp face thing he does. And even though this is a decent method, it's like not really reliable in game. Because you have to crouch for like every separate piece and maybe get a side one on top too. Um, and it's a decent move for like selling a ramp in someone's box but like for full boxing it just isn't fast enough so there's actually a different way to do this but then without crouching and the first thing you have to do is place a wall then add it on the left side and um, why is because you need this uh, piece of wall right here this edit is fine too just make sure you have a wall here then a ramp or an edited cone same thing um, also a wall on the right side and then you need to stand in this right corner and this creates this very awkward peak you get. Um, they can just place whatever you want through this. So I just played this in like less than a second. It's actually crazy how like overpowered this move is. You just need to like edit a ramp, or, uh, edit a cone, or just place a ramp, and then you can just place whatever you want to through this angle. Um, you can't edit it obviously because it takes like this wall first. But the best thing to do after this is just like. They say uh, a box to the right side of them, so they can't escape, and you just full box somebody without exposing yourself. So another way to do this move is like from a triple edit on the left side, and then full box from the right wall, then there are three box from this angle. And again, full box, so many angles on him, but like two boxes to work with. Like this guy literally doesn't see what's coming to him, because it's like so broken. Um, the most common end game situation where I find myself in using this move is when I'm like box step hitting somewhere and the dip cycle comes pushing me. Then I just edit the cone, by the way one tile is enough. And so I stand in the corner and place all the pieces I want to. I also place the floor beneath so he can't add it down. And then just a uh, like a pre-box from the side. Like this angle is one of the most safest pre-boxes you can do. Because you can also easily back up. And then again so many angles to work with. Like this, this move is actually broken. Um, so I need to like give credit to a Reddit user that posted this like a while ago. He showed he showed us the move, but he deleted this post. I don't know why. Maybe Fnatic manager DM him or something. But uh, big shout out to the guy, and uh, I hope this video helped you. See ya. So as you guys can tell by that clip I just showed you, you can really see how broken of a strategy it truly is, and it didn't take long for big pros like Raider464 to actually notice this, and he actually posted a clip to Twitter with the title, now this is kind of broken, found this on Reddit and just showed the strategy off a little bit, and I wouldn't be surprised if Epic does end up actually patching this very shortly, because it is truly just an insane strategy, but I guess only time will tell if that does end up happening. But anyways guys, that is going to be the end of the video video let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think about all of the topics that we covered in today's video because i think we covered quite a bit of interesting ones just to say the least but more specifically let me know what you guys think about the glitch that mr savage and benji fishy actually experienced in a dreamhack tournament and how unfortunate that was for them to actually get that bug during this tournament it's probably the first time i've ever seen anyone experience a bug quite like this one i know when i was playing professionally i didn't experience this bug a single time and that was over the span of two years so so I guess this is just a really rare occasion, but maybe not. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have experienced this bug and when it happened and if you know why it actually happened. So maybe they can figure out a patch to this. But anyways, guys, also let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about the second topic of today's video that we covered, the new way to box people through their own walls really quickly. And also go hop into a game and let me know down below if it worked for you guys or if you guys think the original strategy is better, let me know. But anyways, guys, as I said, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys want to support me, go ahead and enter my credit code into the Fortnite item shop. It is KNGMark, all lowercase, no spaces, and will be greatly appreciated. But as I said before, I do appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing to the channel in the times of TFG being away. He will be making a return very, very soon, actually. And I know a lot of you guys are hyped for that, so stay tuned for that. And also, make sure to subscribe to the channel with all notifications on so you do not miss the upload that he is back on. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me, though. I'm out of here. Peace.